But at the same time, he's playing with us. Oh, hell no. All right, so hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, by the time we're doing another episode, guys, the last episode, how did it end? Well, we found out the mom, oh, we're going on a trip. We're going on a camping trip with Adrian's family. Yay. So that's what's happening. Um, Basically, this episode will probably be them at the camping trip. So we're just going to jump straight into it and see what the teen drama is and the fact that the moms are going to be there and they're having an affair and then, you know, something's going on between us. Yeah, it's just weird. So let's just jump into it and get into the juiciness and the weirdness and the uncomfortability that I'm always in. So let's do that. Okay. I mean, look at this view. The trees. The trees. Okay. Isn't it breathtaking? Uh-huh. Gorgeous. I want to go. I want to go home. Okay. I want to go home. Hey, you should be grateful that I'm here stuck with you and your lover and, and, and our, 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 our nemesis and his, his parents and like this whole thing. No, no. Not every grounded daughter gets to go on a camping retreat. Not every daughter catches their mom having an affair with their next to neighbor slash crush's parent. Like, Okay. So where can I drop off my stuff? Right in your tent. They gave us these for free. Wow. <laughs> how luxurious. I love camping. Mom, how am I supposed to sleep in that? And where did you expect to live, sweetie? In a cottage with a hot tub and a big comfy bed? Is that an option? You just remember my enterprise place. Is that an option? Yeah. Is that an option? Don't you want to bond with nature? No, I hate nature. I hate bugs and I hate, no, no. If I wanted to bond with nature, I'd watch a documentary. Not this time, Hannah. This is torture. This has got to be a joke. I refuse to accept this reality. <laughs> this is some kind of sick joke, Bob. This has to be a joke. Sorry, kiddo. This is how it's going to be. Fine. Fine. Besides, the company is covering all the expenses for this trip. Well, there's not much to expense considering they gave us... That! What expenses, mom? I'm living on the grass. I could do that for free at the park or even at our backyard. Oh my God, is that a squirrel? Your brain is a squirrel. Bless energies to you all today. I'm your yoga instructor and spiritual guide for today. You've got to be kidding me. I hope you're ready for the seven hour, seven hour seminar? Okay. Of complete silence and concentration. There will be no breaks. Can I go pee for like seven hours? Oh my God. I could easily run away. Do it. Nobody would even notice my absence. I'm not staying here for seven hours. Bye-bye, we're leaving. Um, <laughs> hey. Whoa, Hannah, slow down. What's the hurry? Uh, I'm sorry, were you stuck in a seven hour seminar? No, I was. Get out of my way, Reeves. Unleash your inner har harmonies? Huh, Agatha? Girl, no. Feel every impulse of nature. Oh, I understand now why you're running. Mm -hmm. Why aren't you attending those lovely free classes? I'm the boss's son. Of course. Mm -hmm. I'm untouchable. Did they take your phone away too? No, I've been watching Epi Talk videos this whole time. Give me your phone now. That is so unfair. Don't enjoy nature. No, considering you don't either, considering you're on your phone the whole time. I hate being outside. I hate insects sleeping on the ground and these forced bonding activities. Well, you're welcome to use my phone if you want. Really? You're a lifesaver, thank you. I love you, I appreciate you. Really? I mean, why not? But a favor for a favor. Of course, it wouldn't be you without that. What do you have in mind? Whatever you think is fair. I don't think anything's fair. He's testing me because he thinks I'm too much of a pushover to do anything bold. He has no idea how bold I kiss Adrian and get, a oh, a little touch and go. Okay, let's do a little judo teasing, little teasing. I mean, I would love to go on the phone. I would love to go on the phone. Girl, you should have brought a book, but I'm gonna kiss him. Let's have some fun. I came closer and sharply pulled his head to mine. I could tell he was surprised and completely off guard. And now, Give me the phone. Not so quickly, birdie. <laughs> you like to play dirty, Adrian, okay? In a second, I was pinned against the tree. You do too much, sir, really. Adrian was greedily kissing my lips while his hand slowly explored the every curve of my body. Okay, let's not do that, all right? Damn, he is so good. He made me tremble. I couldn't predict what he could do next. His lips moved down my neck and color bone. Okay. All right, see what I'm talking about, the uncomfortability? This is where it comes in. Is uh, mm. Adrian wrapped his hands around my waist and held me tightly so I couldn't escape. Okay, we're done here. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, I didn't want to leave. Adrian, somebody might notice us. Why would you care? Um, because our 
her parents are hooking up. Maybe that's why. Nobody has a phone to take a picture of us anyway. Well, I care. Well, a deal is a deal. Thank you so much. I can finally check my social media. So many new notifications and messages. Thank you. Where are you going? I have no idea, actually. Everyone's scheduled for deep, silent, eyes closed thought for the next seven hours. Isn't that just sleeping? It's worse. Well, I have a better idea. I'm listening. Let's have a picnic. I mean, it beats whatever we were gonna do. I found the perfect place while I was wandering the campsite. It's the perfect place to get away from all of this. It's beautiful and private. Is this a date, Reeves? It's whatever you want it to be, Bernie. Hmm. He's still playing the game, guys, because he has a bet to win. I, I, I never forgot. I remember. This actually sounds like it would be fun. I have to change it to something. I have to pay for this, don't I? Guys, we're no one's outside. What does it matter what we're wearing? I honestly don't care. That's not even that cute. That one is cute. It'll get dirty though. No. Uh, mm, pass? Huh. I could go on the date, but or I could pass. I thought it was just for the outfits. I guess I'll go on the date. <laughs> of course I'll go on the date. <laughs> I'm in, but only because I'm hungry. Sure, Birdie. Are you gonna explain why he calls Birdie? Only because of that. Yeah, <laughs> only because of that. So what will I wait for my little picnic date? Let's wear the white one, she's cute. The picnic food won't be the only thing Adrian drools over. Oh, look at that. Are you scared to graduate? To graduate? I can't wait to graduate. School sucks. But we don't know what's waiting for us in the future. Our time of careless fun is coming to an end. That's why you have to enjoy every moment you have now. Adrian, move closer to me. This is not what I meant. This, this, what, what, what's going on between us? It's not, no. Everyone else survived after school and we will too. I'll be just fine in Harvard. Funny how you think you're going to Harvard. What about us? Hmm? Too bad I'm the one that's going. Adrian looked at me with that heart melting smirk of his. I giggled and tested away the crumbles of bread from the corner of his mouth. Your trouble, Reeves. You have no idea. Not the. Mm, guys, it's something about something, something about this. We swore we weren't into each other. Yeah, your kissing says otherwise. So, mm -hmm. But we couldn't help ourselves. Our attraction was so magnetic. I forgot about school, about home, about all of it. And all I can think about was him. It's gonna be tough without you in Harvard. You know what? See, you always ruin the moment by opening your mouth. Every time you speak, it's like, you pompous ass. Adrian pulled me even tighter to himself and pulled my hair away from my face. Let's not ruin the moment. But you did that just a second ago by talking. Then stop talking as if you've already won. And before I could get another word in, I looked into his eyes. We kissed again. I can't do this. Adrian, what was I thinking? Our parents are literally here. I wasn't thinking about that. Of course you won't. Or, what, what, weren't, weren't, <laughs> yeah. As fun as this is, you're right, I'll leave so it doesn't look like we came out together. Thanks, Adrian. Um, but their parents know that they're friends, so. Oh, hey, Agatha, right? Have you seen my mom? Oh, honey, I'm not Agatha. You are, aren't you? Say, you are. Girl, but you are. Why is she laughing? I'm Lilu. You're crazy. That's what you are. Agatha's sister. Oh, okay, God. Oh, you're twins. No, I'm one year older than my little sister, Agatha. Okay, damn, relax. What? Hannah, there you are. Miss Thompson, we are about to start our next team bonding activity. Leave me out of it right now. Nope. Great, Lilu. I'll see you there. How do you know that it was Lilu? What do you mean? That is literally Agatha. What? No, sweetie. Did you get a sunstroke? By the way, I noticed that you didn't stay to the end of our last class. Uh, no, we were there, just in the corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had to go to the bathroom leave. I had to go to the bathroom, you know, number two. We got duty calls. <laughs> I had to go to the bathroom. For that long? Yep, it's the woods. I just couldn't find it. Anyway, are you coming to the next team bonding event? I guess so. Later that day. Okay, time for our last team building exercise for the night. We're gonna share our vulnerabilities and speak openly and honest about our fears. <laughs> Good luck about that. That's a great idea, Marco. Yeah, you think so, Francesca? Hmm, let's expose you. How about that? Who wants to go first? May I? I like to share my feelings with the group. I know how I look on paper. Football captain, natural athlete, extroverted, and great grades. You're so humble, Adrian. But all of that, that's what I want people to see. And sometimes that doesn't feel like it's the real me. Sometimes I wish there was someone who could see me for the real me. Whoa, I've never seen this side of Adrian before. Oh, he's actually being sincere. Oh, okay. It's actually kind of sweet. Yeah, I've acted out and got to myself in trouble a lot. I think it's because part of me wants to know that even though if I'm not perfect, I'm still loved. But another part of me is too scared to risk that. What if my fears are true? Is anyone going to love me for just being me? Oh, Adrian, no, I'm not. 
No, not me wanting to cry over this. I'm sorry. He's looking right into my eyes as he says that. And it feels like he's being real. Like he's daring me to show my real self too. He pauses, waiting to see if I'll say anything. Support Adrian's feeling, sharing his feelings. Say nothing. Do I have to? He's playing us. Um, I don't want to support his feelings, honestly. So, actually, that's so mean though. But at the same time, he's playing with us, you know? I guess I'll say something because I'm not rude. Adrian, that was really brave of you to share with us. That's what I paid for, seriously. And I want you to know that no matter what people expect of you, you're always gonna be worthy. That was so nice, Hannah. But that was so not worth the coin. The right people in your life care less about your achievements and more about you being happy. Then Hannah, hearing that from you means a lot to me. But it doesn't, so. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. That was very brave of you, Adrian. I'll share my deepest fear next. I heard there's some sort of dinosaur demon monster in the lake here. Ew, what is she wearing? Hey. Psst. What the? Adrian? What do you want? Were you asleep already? Obviously not. If we're standing outside the tent with our eyes open. What do you want? I'm going on a late night swim. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. I figured we have some fun before we leave. Sure you did. You never stop, do you? I'm not afraid of any ghost stories. Are you, Hannah? Of course not, I'm coming with you. Uh, okay, great. Let's go, let's go to Lane. Reject him and go to s <sighs> See, if I didn't pay for the last one, this one I wouldn't have contemplated because then I would have just paid for it. But now I'm like, I just paid for the last one, so why do I have to pay for this one, you know? But I'm paying for it anyway, so let's spend the coin right now. Let's do this. I want to have some fun on this trip. That's what I like to see, Birdie. Yeah, 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 whatever. I never realized it was so pretty here. What? What the hell are you doing? Skinny dipping, Hannah. <laughs> uh, no, thank you. You didn't tell me anything about that. You don't have to if you don't want to. You don't think I'm up for it? I don't know. Are you? Uh, yeah. Jump in. Yeah. He has no idea what's coming. I paid for this. Oh, she still, she, she's in her, that's not even skinny dipping. You're ridiculous. I don't see anything ridiculous about living life to the fullest. And don't worry, if monsters show up, I'll protect you. How nice of you. I think I can handle monster better than you, Reeves. Let's hope we don't have to find out then. Seriously though, thanks for joining me. Thanks for making this trip not the worst. Do you notice the looks our moms give each other? Don't remind me. They kind of seem in love. <laughs> I'm conflicted because like the girl that the lady's married. She's married. How would you know? I know how it feels. Who are you in love with? Or who have you been in love with? Hmm? Oh, really? When I was eight, I was madly in love with a girl from school. Oh, wow. Did she love you too? No, she liked my best friend and it broke my heart. Oh, that's so cute and sad. Have you ever been in love? No. <laughs> no. Well, I thought I had been in love with Emmett. You thought? Yeah. But now that I look back on it, it wasn't love. It was comfortability. What made you realize it? Or who? Actually, it was... That's not funny, Hannah. What are you talking about? I know that you're pulling my foot. Huh? What? No, we're not. Are you crazy? No, why would I do that? Stop. Seriously. Adrian, I can't even reach your feet. Run! What? It's the monster! Run for your... Oh, he just left us stranded. So much for, like, saving us if anything comes. You literally just left us. Oh, ew! Oh my god, I'm scared. Oh, bestie. Yeah, she's she's going under. She's, she's going. Hannah! Hannah, where are you? Um, still in the water. Okay. Get out! Yeah, no, we're still in here. Oh, she's fine. Okay. Oh, she was messing with them. Gotcha. You are such a coward. I knew it was a damn prank. Sure, Reeves. That's why you ran away screaming. Okay, I get it. You know how to prank too. Well done, Hannah. Mm-hmm. And she just saw all of his business on display. Good thing it was dark out. Honestly, you'd be scarring people out here. <laughs> what are you gonna do now? Uh, this thing called sleep. Try to spend hours falling asleep on literally rock hard ground, Adrian. Well, you can sleep in my tent if you want. Is your tent not the same? What's so special about your tent? Let me show you. Uh, this man has a whole freaking fortune. And we get the ground? The ground. Nice. This is how I camp, Birdie. Oh my god. This is a castle compared to my tent. You can spend the night here with me. Again. Okay. Are you sure that's okay? There's plenty of space, Birdie. But what do you want? What? Uh... <laughs> I didn't care about the tents in that moment. I just wanted to be with him tonight under the stars. <gasps> she had me at under the stars. If I have to pay for this, so be it. I'm gonna be broke. It's fine. Why can't I stop thinking about you, Hannah? Maybe because you have a bet. Maybe that's why. I just want to be with you here under the stars. 
No, he's playing with us, but I'm falling for it. Adrian, forgetting our rivalries, our drama, all of it. Tonight, we're just two people who couldn't get enough of each other. Ah! <laughs> what? But this can't, it won't last. What are we gonna say to the principal? You wanna talk about this right now? Uh, yeah, that would be nice. I need to know. Bertie, you know it's gonna be you. What? You deserve to win. Our school will be a better place with you as class president. I'm not just gonna let you give up on your dream like that. I'll be fine, Hannah. <laughs> Guys, they're falling for each other. No, no, no. No. Nope. You've done so much and worked so hard, but both of us won. I don't have to go to Harvard. My dreams can change. It should be yours. Kiss him, I hug him, awkward reject. No, I can't I can't reject him after he said that. Or is he saying that just because he wants us to kiss him, you know, and like be with him. But I fell for it, so I'm gonna kiss him anyways. Yeah, Adrian didn't expect my kiss this time. I felt his heart beating so quickly. What was that for? Because I felt like it. Well, I don't mind it at all. I don't know if I can accept you doing this, Adrian. We should let the principal decide who's best. Whatever you want, Bertie. Uh... Is that the dad? Uh, awkward. I hope you two have come to an agreement. So, who's it gonna be? Adrian. Hannah. Come on, guys. I gave you a whole week to decide. Well, now we're out of time. Seems like you'll have to choose. I already have. Really? Come in. No. What do you mean, come in? Our school needs a leader who's confident, strong, and 100% sure of what they want. What? Miss me? Oh, hell no. 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 Emmett, did you even run for class president? Emmett's demonstrated strong leadership carrying our football team to champions for the past three years. So why you two spent the whole time debating? Emmett stepped up to the plate. Of course he did. What a snake. You two didn't even have to say your own names. We need someone who wants to be class president. Okay, okay. I'll be the president. She's right. Hannah would be a much better president. It's too late now. This principal's an ass. You know what? Bring up the video. Bring up the video, Adrian, of him and the teacher. Do it now. Emmett is the new school president and you better respect him. In order to get it, you have to give it. Oh, trust me, they will. Oh, really? I'm pretty sure class president is just a key word for asshole. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? Guys, we did all of that and all that campaigning for nothing. We didn't even win. What was the point? I just wasted my coins on that. The last episode when I paid for it. But you guys, I think we're falling in love with Adrian. I think so. But I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, subscribe down below. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this. But yeah, I love y'all. Don't forget to love yourself. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace out, scouts. Bye.